Hello and good evening to you. Uh, tonight we're going to do some causal body sound harmonization. The first one of these for the year for 2022. Um, we have a Venus Neptune today, I believe it is. It's been an interesting day out there. I'm just watching what people are saying, how people are feeling, watching the market, watching the weather, you know, any indicators of consciousness tell us lots and lots of things and um, just, you know, filling into the moon people are in today and stuff. Um, shall we do some sound healing today? I um, want to share that I'm, I'm going to start the live readings that I was doing on Tuesdays. I'm going to start that from next Tuesday, so next week, uh, right here um, I will be. Um, I'll stay on, maybe speak to that a little nearer the time. Uh, hello everyone. I'll speak to that a little nearer the time, but um, 6 o'clock, my time at Central Time, uh, next Tuesday, it's going to be every other Tuesday. And how I was doing before, you know, that kind of thing. I, this year, I am putting a lot of, um, a lot more energy into um, my membership group, my subscription group, doing a lot with them. They're doing some amazing stuff. It's just a delight to see. That's what I'm doing on Patreon. And, you know, if you, you know, if you tune into me over the, over the weeks and over time, you'll hear me talk about that and, and that's what it is. It's a, it's a membership group. Um, probably won't be doing quite as much through my Facebook uh, work. Um, still keeping it up, but but my but I'm putting a bit more emphasis into uh, the the membership group, uh, shall we say? Before I get started this evening on the work I'm going to do here, uh, I want to want to just speak to something. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of expressions in our vernacular that sound very profound when you say them, <laughs> but actually one don't convey very much and two can be a little bit uh, distracting. And there was one of these I was hearing all over the Christmas um, all over the Christmas period. People were would speak out loud about uh, something someone they're going to see or something they're going to experience, and they say something like, "Oh, I just need to rise above it." Yeah, just to rise above it like their self-talk. We've all heard that expression throughout our lives, and rise above it. And of course, there's a deeper amount of truth to it. It's also a distractive, a distractive idea um, if it's not unpacked. So I just want to briefly go there, okay? To, sometimes we have to deal with something in a moment. Something we have to, sometimes we have to manage um, a situation just to get through and it's quick it's brief it's short term you know grit our teeth clench our butt cheeks as it were get through something rise above it right it means we hold our tongue we don't speak um, adversely against someone we we maybe don't share an opinion we rise above it we don't let ourselves get stirred okay short term great idea long term bad idea um, because longer term, that is, it's being inauthentic to ourself, it's negating what we feel, at worst, it's self-gaslighting, yeah? Because at that duration of time, what we're saying by rise above it is what I feel is not valid, what I feel is not um, accepted or acceptable, right? And that's clearly not true, it could never be true, never be true, no one's opinion is ever more or less valid than anyone else's. I don't, I'm just not going to stand back on that one. Um, we, are, we are one human species and opinions are all equal, right? Then, we have to unpack it. All right, what is, what is the concept of rising above? I think in terms of dimensions and dimensional realities, right? So, uh, the, the realm of thought and emotion and ideas, to me, is fourth dimensional. That's also where there's a tremendous amount of mess and disagreement, argument, separation. For me, that is all happening in the fourth dimensional realm, thoughts and ideas and so on. I want to give you the analogy of taking off in an airplane. Of course, you go through the clouds, up the clouds, and then you're in the blue, aren't you? In the clear blue, and you can see for, uh, for uh, tens, hundreds of miles. But also you can look down upon the grey clouds underneath you, which you were swamped in a minute ago, and now you're all the way above. And you've got this incredible 35,000 foot view down, and you're clear, okay? That is an analogy about rising above, but it's a vibrational 
rising above. It's not a mental rising above. When you try and mentally rise above something, you're sticking to it. So whatever it is that will get you vibrationally higher, and in my reality is a whole bunch of things, that's the way truly to rise above something. Because then you're not stuck to it, you're not attached to it, you're not becoming it, um, and you can support it. Uh, this is a whole other way of saying detachment. All right. All right, so as to tonight, um, the way I'm working tonight, I, cause a cause, I call it the causal body. What I mean by that, um, it's a, the causal body is one of our bodies. I just don't split hairs about this. So consider it's the part of you that's etheric, right out here somewhere. It's the part of you that interfaces with all that is. And on a day like today, you know, we're talking about the markets, I'm talking about the weather, all these things, the collective is a little bit stirred up. And so we want our, our causal body to be a little bit clearer because then we can face the day feeling a bit better, yeah? So I'm working with sound because sound, sound is a good carrier for energy. I'm gonna be working, of course, distance because none of you are in the same room as me. And I'm gonna start with the gong over there. Um, I start the gong and there I'm breaking up energy. I'm going to work with the didgeridoo quite extensively and as it were, one of your bodies, all of our bodies, all superimposed here on the grid I'm using. The grid I'm using here, it's, it's analogous to the seraphim, uh, uh, dear God, I forget the word. Anyway, the tree of life. That's what I like to use when I'm working distance. Um, so I'm going to use the didgeridoo for a clearing. I'm going to do a balancing after that with the tuning forks. I'm going to do an overall tuning and raising, okay, because I was just talking about rising above, wasn't I? We're going to talk about, we're going to do a rising of energy, a tuning of energy with the crystal bowl, and I think I'll use the flute after that. So from this point, I know I've been yakking a bit today, from this point, you know, about 20 minutes, it's not going to be a super long thing. There's nothing you need to do, just um, maybe just close your eyes. Uh, breathe comfortably. Just want it to be comfortable, okay? Is there anything else to say? I don't think there is. Uh, thank you for being with me, uh, by the way, everyone. I appreciate it. So uh, let's do this. Take a breath with me, please. I'm going to open with a prayer, and then we'll get started. Father, Mother, God, Goddess, sweet presence of love, of life, of vitality, sweetness from source, we welcome you all around us, wherever we may be, whatever part of the country, whatever country. We ground ourselves, we find that connection below, we find it above. We call forth a grid of light around us that we can be comfortable and safe, happy and relaxed where we sit. We call the higher selves as always to attune the lower body. We call the angels of sound, of purity and harmony. That we can support those that we care and love about through this work, through being present, through receiving, through releasing. And I'm calling the very highest good of our time together in this moment. So in the name of the Christ I am, the presence I am, the activity. Falling in love from all directions, from within, from throughout. In appreciation for the opportunity to be able to connect with my community in this way. May manifestations be clear, may intentions be whole, may grace be all pervading. And we say thank you. invite you to close your eyes now and that is just so you can be in your own space in your own experience and wish you a wonderful experience
Let's just keep with the eyes closed for some moments longer, please. Your breathing is natural, your breathing is calm. Rather just watching the breath go in and out instead of trying to breathe. Perhaps you're still feeling the undulation of energy moving through you, that's fine. Don't try and stop it, don't try and keep it going, it simply is. Your attention to your chest now please, to your heart. And just being with the natural, the perfect emanation, vibration, radiation from there, which creates an equal and even energy field around you. This is your still point, the place of returning to. And it's to get to this point, which is why we do things like this. Now let's ground ourselves again. However you like to do that, you're just finding, feeling, looking for, calling your connection to and from and with the earth below you. Bringing your energy into your body again. So now let's take, start taking some deep, full breaths to the whole body. We're gonna come back into the space we're in, to the room we're in. Take a drink of water if you have it. Okay, well, thank you for Thank you for um, joining me for this. Thank you for holding space um, as I was working on us all as one body there, coming across a fair bit going on with the digestive system. Um, you know, that's where we process, that's where we, that's where we, um, derive meaning from that which we can't see, understand, touch, or is tangible. It's where it all goes. Not always easy to do that these days. And some other things, but not for right now. Uh, so, um, just to say again, I will be um, starting with the live readings again. Um, it will be every other week. I'm going to start next week, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday at 6 o'clock on Central Time. It will be right here. Um, I do stream live to YouTube when I do that, if you prefer to be watching YouTube. Um, and I'll be doing it for the hour, as, as I have done before. So, um, I just want to say thank you all very, very much. Um, uh, for holding space with me again. Um, I don't really have much more to say. You just have a wonderful, um, wonderful rest of the evening, wonderful rest of the week. God bless, be well, and I'll see you again soon.